and now we have to build the ERC20 interface for our contract which will allow us to transfer the tokens take the token and uh, take the token out of the contract so that's the interface we're going to build it's a general ERC22 interface then we have to give the salty version name then we can call the interface ERC IERC20 or you can call it whatever but these are the function need to be there in the interface for making the transaction of the token so we can come here we'll take this particular one we'll take this event transfer and then we have to take this particular one, address index from address in and the value so these are the things we have to pass in this particular transfer event we'll take another event and this will be the approve event address then we have to pass the address of the sender and the value let's take the third event so i'm taking these two events only because we have to allow the user to transfer the token and they can simply approve the their token to be spent by the contract token so that's why i can have these two events you can have more events because we have a lot of function in the ERC20 interface or the standards. So let's define the function. We'll say balance of. So this will allow us to check the balance of the of the address. Then we have the another one is for the transfer. It will take the address to and the amount for transfer the font. Then we have one more function which is called allowance. We'll take the address of the owner, sender, and then we have to simply return the UNT variable. Let's write another function. This will call approve. It will take the address of the spender and the amount for approving the contract. Now we can come here. We'll take another function. This will be the transfer from. So from transfer from A to from B. Inside that, we're going to take this address from and we'll take this address to and we have to provide the amount we want to transfer it will external return and return the boolean so that's the entire interface we have written for the so that's the entire interface so we have the transfer approval this is the first function balance of transfer allowance approve and transfer form so these are the interface we're going to use there are more but we are focusing on totally customization and building what we need exactly and that's the only thing I want to cover in this video. Hope you guys have understood that what logic we have implemented, what context we have built, what interface we have built, which we're going to use in our in our DAP. So everything will make sense. Just follow along with me and try to follow every single video in that we are building this different contract because all of these contracts are dependent on one another. So you have to know how things works, how things how you can combine multiple contracts to bring certain functionality into your DAP.